Hi guys, today we're going to do a video on finger symbols, which look like this. They are, exactly as the name suggests, tiny finger-sized symbols. These two are from Zildjian. They are the thin pair that you can get. They also have a heavier pair. Um, in classical times, uh, they were typically uh, distinct pitches, like uh, Debussy, for example, uh, indicates that they should be exactly an E and a B in Afternoon of a Fawn. Uh, that's more like what we would use crotales for today. Uh, today we kind of use finger symbols a lot as unpitched triangle-ish dingy sounds. Uh, and so mine, I just tested them out, they come, uh, one is an E, and one is an E sharp-ish, half sharp. It's not an F, it's halfway between an E and an F. Um, so they're not exactly pitched to concert pitches. Now, there are a few different playing techniques you can use to make sound on finger cymbals, none of which are crashing them like crash cymbals, because uh, that gives you too much of that clacky sound of them impacting each other. You want to have the minimum amount of surface area of each one touch as possible, so you get less clack and more ding. So, you can play them individually, either with a triangle beater or by just muting one and playing the other with it, like this. And I can do it the other way. Uh, you can also play them both where they make sound, so you hold them both loosely. Just bring the edge of one down onto the other. Get a little bit more shimmery sound that way. Um, I've also seen in some historically motivated manuals, like the uh, Goldenberg uh, Guidebook for the Artist Percussionist, where you hold one sort of uh, vertically and the other 90 degrees from it. You give it that sort of an attack. You could also do that left-handed. You don't get quite as much sound that way, which you might want. Uh, but the idea is you want a shimmery, sort of triangle-like sound, although it's more piercing and less uh, nondescript than a triangle sound. It's definitely a different character of sound. Uh, and that's about it. Um, in the old and old and olden days, these were a Middle Eastern folk music instrument, as were most percussion instruments, and they would be played uh, by dancers, uh, and so sometimes you would actually see them, they would put them on their fingers, like through the loops, and play them almost like castanets, uh, or something like that. Um, that's not something that you do in classical music, although that is a valid use for finger cymbals as well, that I'm not intimately familiar with. So that's your basic overview of how to play the finger cymbals and what they are. So thanks for watching, have fun, and I'll see you guys next time.